Hey folks, uh, so uh, earlier today I showed you the uh, Squire SAL40, picked it, gutted it for you, um, and you know, it uh, put up some resistance. I wouldn't call it super easy, uh, I certainly wouldn't expect someone uh, in one of my beginner classes to, uh, to necessarily breeze through it uh, at the end of the first lesson, but uh, certainly this is not um, unpickable or particularly uh, uh, resistant to various other types of entry, uh, wooden the body and all that. But um, the gentleman from England who sent it to me uh, told me that uh, a locksmith uh, from England had claimed that this, uh, that this model was completely unpickable. Obviously, that's not the case, but we can actually make it uh, at least somewhat harder to pick. Uh, and so the first thing that we're going to do is, if you notice, it does look an awful lot like uh, an American Lock 1100, and that's because it is essentially an exact copy, just with uh, a Master Lock keyway. So, if we open this up, and drop that screw and retaining plate out. There's our core again. And, you know, it's not a terrible core, it's just not a great core. Five chambers uh, drilled, five chambers populated. Uh, here is essentially the exact same cylinder, exact same keyway, uh, just made by American Lock. Uh, this one's zero-bitted, but it will illustrate the principle. Pop that guy in. And hopefully this will actually work. I'm not going to uh, screw this closed right now, because just in case that key doesn't fit, I don't want to have to drill the lock up. So, lock it back up. Come on, buddy. There you go. Okay. Now, uh, sure, this is only four pin blank and it's zero bitted right now, but it will get the point across because these are going to be all American lock pins. Still functions just fine. But uh, with all of the serrated and serrated spool pins that American Lock makes, it will be uh, that much more difficult. And we can still, we could even pin this to match these uh, Squire keys. They fit in, so we can get pins to match it. And it will be that much more pick resistant. But what can we do beyond that? Well, because that 5-pin uh, American Lock core with the Master Lock keyway fits, why not uh, a 6-pin American Lock core? That will still fit in there. This one is also uh, uh, from my parts bin, so it's not actually fully combinated, but there it is inserted and shackles locked up key goes in and it functions just fine and at six pins that's going to be quite a bit more uh, pick resistant than uh, either of those five pin cores but you know because it is still uh, the standard American lock cam, and we've proven uh, that this little bypass tool will work on those, we do need to take a little bit of extra precaution. And so we would just take these two uh, little thin metal plates, stack them on the tailpiece of the cylinder,
and drop that. Drop that into the block body. Now hopefully we can manage to do that without them flying over the place. There we go. And now that bypass tool isn't going to work. And if we use two of them, uh, even the wafer breaker tool that's meant to uh, punch those out is going to have a hard time. And so with just a few little modifications and uh, probably six dollars or so in parts or used to be I, I actually knew the conversion to pounds uh, pretty well but uh, recently I've got no idea what they're doing so uh, probably less than certainly less than five pounds uh, probably depending on uh, whether or not uh, the retailers there have adjusted their prices for their imports probably not more than three so uh, you know just a few things that uh, will make you just a little bit happier with what is otherwise a halfway decent lock. So, until next time, have fun and happy picking.